Hey there, Sun Bitcoin community. Welcome back to another episode where we bring you the latest and most important updates in crypto, military, and defense news. Today, we've got a pretty alarming story about Australia's submarine fleet that you don't want to miss. Half of Australia's Collins-class submarines are going to be out of service for the rest of the year. Yes, you heard that right. And the reason behind it? Unprecedented corrosion problems. This is a big deal considering these submarines are a crucial part of Australia's defense. Let's break down what's happening. The Australian Submarine Corporation, now known simply as ASC, has revealed that three of their submarines are currently in shipyards for upgrades and urgent maintenance. That leaves only three submarines available for the Navy throughout 2024. During a Senate estimates hearing, ASC's CEO, Stuart Wiley, dropped the bombshell. Engineers discovered significant corrosion damage on HMS Sheehan during its full cycle docking work. This damage is so severe that repairs are expected to continue until at least Christmas. Now you might be wondering what exactly is the problem here? Well, the delays are primarily due to hull preservation issues, particularly around the weapons discharge and several hull forgings. According to Mr. Wiley, this type of corrosion has never been seen before on these submarines. To fix the issue, they have to grind out all the corrosion, replace the affected metal using welding techniques, and then machine the weld to fit the necessary equipment. And trust me, these repairs are happening in some pretty tricky spots. But wait, there's more. Over at Adelaide's Osborne Shipyard, work continues on HMAS Sheehan. However, Different corrosion issues have been discovered on HMS Farncombe at the Henderson Shipyard in Western Australia, extending its scheduled intermediate docking. To make matters worse, HMS Rankin has also arrived at the Osborne Shipyard for a scheduled maintenance full cycle docking period. But the Navy hasn't handed it over to ASC yet. This is the first time since 2012 that half the fleet is out of action. Finance Minister Katie Gallagher, whose department owns ASC, was questioned about when she was informed of the extent of these problems. She confirmed that she met with ASC in February, but couldn't recall the specifics discussed. So, what does this mean for Australia's submarine fleet in the long run? Well, Australia is hoping to keep operating these Collins-class submarines into the 2030s. They plan to gradually replace them with second-hand nuclear-powered Virginia-class boats purchased from the United States under the AUKUS partnership. This story is a big deal for Australia's defense capabilities and raises important questions about the future of the country's submarine fleet. We'll be keeping a close eye on this and bring you any updates as they come. That's all for today's episode. What do you think about the Australian corrosion issue? Drop your comments below. If you found this information useful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update from Sun Bitcoin. Stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one. Also remember, peace out.